435-4795. Call today. So here's my wooden spoon. You better oh, be good I know. In this segment, I saw okay? it. I got all worried. <laughs> How many of you needed rescuing from the turkey traumas? Anybody? I, I, I must admit that I have. And if you have... Uh, <laughs> I have. <laughs> like questions like, uh, where do you been to begin to carve? Uh, how long does it take to thaw it out? Stuff like that. All you need to do is call the, believe this or not, Butterball Turkey Talk Line. <laughs> so I'm telling you, it's true. Yeah, They will answer any questions you have regarding your holiday turkey, even if you've never cooked one before. Well, they so. to, like, sit it front to back, back to front. I, I have. I, I don't know. It, it all goes the same way. Have you ever cooked one of these? I, I mean, I've assisted. I, I, I I've assisted in it. That's about it. I, 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 okay, well, we're going to call the turkey hotline. You ready for this? I'm ready. I'm not. They didn't have this course in school. They didn't have, like, turkey egg. Just keep talking while I I'll go. I'll just keep talking. This is a, there's, we've got the whole thing finished and un, and done. Uh, we were up all, all night preparing this little You're doing a great job. This bird. How am I doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be made such fun of it home. No, you're not. No. Saw you on there with yeah. the apron on, I said, yeah. So this is the turkey hotline. It's hot ringing. Line. Okay. Yeah. It's ringing. This is fill-in time. We're still talking. We are, yes. We're going to actually fill in. If you could meet a guy that you'd really want to meet, who would you like to meet? Oh, Hold that thought. Oh, well, the turkey just came on the line. Who is this, please? This is Jean at the Butterball Turkey Talk. Hi, Jean. This is Chuck Willery and Brooke Shields. We're doing a show this afternoon. Can I put your voice on the air? Why, sure. You know, we're doing, okay, so you're going to be on the show. I'm going to set this down because I can talk to you, okay? Okay. All right, now, we need to ask some questions. Right, help, well, need, okay. uh, need help kind of, uh, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, oh good, great. that's great, okay. Hi, we need hi, some girl. help here. What, yeah. do I, what do we do first? What have you got there, a nice, nice sort of bluish, whitish, raw-looking turkey? <laughs> Sounds great, yeah. Yeah, we've got that. Okay. Have you got a monitor on your <laughs> end or something? You know, people call us here at the Butterball Turkey Talk Line, they're very worried about that bluish color. Yeah, what's they, the story They call up that? and they, they're crying, the like, whole turkey is bruised. But that's, that's a sign that it's a very young and very fat-free turkey. So, so don't be intimidated by this little beauty. That Gene, I wasn't intimidated at all about that. I just want to get to how do you cook this All right, thing. what do we do, we do next, Gene? You sound like you're in turkey trauma there, both of you. Yes, I'm and getting nervous. You've called yeah, Gene's right got all place. the turkey jokes, doesn't she? <laughs> you've, called, you've called her the right place for, uh, for the doctor will help you. Okay. okay, we've got stuffing here in a bowl. Oh, wonderful. Okay, you know what, where that goes? There are two cavities in that turkey, and many... <laughs> <laughs> two cavities? Two is cavities. Is this like pet's head or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, one cavity... See where the legs are tucked under a flap of skin? Okay, the little Don't legs touch are tucked that. under That's head. one cavity. That's a body cavity. Right. Now, okay, now you probably can't see it, and most of the 500 people who called us last Thanksgiving had not noticed that there's another cavity at the other end where there's a package of giblets. Can you see sort of loose Giblets. Skin? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, it's got yeah, so like a... Package. Can you want... see that thing right that there? That little surprise package of giblets, which... Yeah, has, good. That's good. I presume oh. you're sort of novices, so you can toss Ooh. that in the round file. But, All right. But, but some people simmer that, you know, make giblet gravy or something. Okay. Oh, come on, Gene. Talk to... <laughs> <laughs> what next, What do we do now? <laughs> You're not, you're not into simmering those giblets, I think. No, I think not. We're oh, okay. going to leave these okay. giblets over here. <laughs> so now you want to stuff that neck cavity. Now, if you, uh, if you have a disagreement there between the two of you as to what kind of stuffing you like, that there are the two stuffings. And we have there one that we agree on. Can, there are two cavities where you can put the stuffing. And sometimes when newly married couples argue about that he likes oyster <laughs> stuffing and she likes cornbread, you can, you know, we can have a his and hers. Okay, Gene, we're going to stuff this baby okay. now. Well, hold it. Okay. Hold it. Now, Gene, Gene, listen to me. Yes, sir. Listen to me now. Yes, sir. We, are we going to stuff the turkey now in both yes. cavities? Is that what we're going to do? Yeah, and I'm going to tell you a trick for stuffing that neck cavity. It's sort of like a pocket. If you turn the turkey, now put the round side mm -hmm. of the turkey down for temporarily with the flat side <laughs> off. Okay, flat side off. And so there, now that, that neck cavity is kind of, a, and something? Mm -hmm. sort of a pocket there, right? There's a pocket. There's a pocket okay. right here. Now, have you got your sleeves rolled up and your hands all nicely washed? Mama has to check. Oh, You're, yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, you can stuff it with your hands. It's, it's kind of difficult to do with a spoon. Just stuff that little pocket with a couple handfuls of stuffing. <laughs> well, now, you look like you know what you're doing here, Brooke. You really do. <laughs> Okay. Pack it away. Okay, when you've got the little pocket kind of full, pull the skin back over it. And skin. I'm going to teach you a trick for anchoring that skin. Anchoring so it. So you don't need pins. Uh, people think you've got to use pins and string. Where do we tuck it? Hey, Gene, it's an hour show. Come on. <laughs> what, how do you anchor it? Okay, we call it wings akimbo. And it's tipping the wings back to, with the tips of the wings will hold that skin. This the like turkey this? will be sort of in the posture of putting, like when you put your hands oh, behind it's like your yoga. Head. <laughs> 
Only the turkey doesn't have a head. Um. <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> now you got it. Yeah, that okay. works real good, Jean. Thank you. Careful. Oh, now what? Now, now turn it right side up again on the pa in the pan. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to stuff that other cavity, the bigger. Yeah, I got my little wing caught here, Jean. <laughs> <laughs> the wings aren't, aren't obeying you. Oh. Well, we better get this baby stuffed quick, because Gene's going to have you us on here for an hour and a half, I'll tell you. the other end, okay. Yeah, stuffing this thing in the rear end here, Gene. Oh. <laughs> I guess you'd call this a cavity, not a rear end, though, right? Yeah, yeah we'll call Can it we get to say the finished product then, Gene? <laughs> That, stu that stuffing has uh, got some cranberries and good stuff in it. Oh, I thought, yeah, yeah, this is going to be good. wonderful. Mm. Okay. Okay. Oh, and now you got both. Well, let's talk to at least yeah. five people every Thanksgiving, Jim. We are talking. <laughs> well, they don't all have as many problems as you do. Oh, then look what happened. Oh. Okay. Now, there's a meat. you should need a meat thermometer because you no. want to be sure the thing is done. <laughs> okay. When, after it's come out of the oven. And the meat thermometer should go in the meaty part of the thigh next to the body. You know, first of all, you're going to have a little trouble figuring out the thigh. I'm sick of this turkey, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> well, now, why is, it, Dean, why, is it, why is it that every time you have turkey at home, the guy is supposed to, they say, here, Don, carve the turkey. And right. Don goes, oh, yeah, sure, great. And has sure. no idea what he's doing. It, listen, don't worry about it. He tastes wonderful no matter how bad. Well, where, do I, where do I start with this? Are you going to carve it now? Yeah, right now. Oh, Let's... wow. We're, yeah, we're, we're ready to eat. We're to the Cut to the chase, right? Okay, well, okay. <laughs> um, Brooke can anchor the turkey down with her fork at the top there. Okay. Okay, Let's and Chuck, you cut that skin. You got your knife. Uh, you might want to insert the fork in the thigh, one side there, and cut the skin that's connecting the leg to the body. There we go. Do it with the camera so see it. Cut that skin. Skin that's and connected now, to the leg here. Yeah, that skin that's Every kitchen it. needs a good sharp... Well, you got to have a turkey knife. knife. That's the secret of successful carving. That's the first cut. What's the next one? Okay, then bend that leg back so you can see the, the turkey exposed. It's going to kind of look... Please, Excuse this, me, this, I'm going to... better hide you. time. I'm going I'm, I'm to expose this turkey. I'm okay. Sorry. We have, now have an exposed turkey there. This turkey doesn't want to okay. be exposed. It looks a little bit like... like a, with the leg bent back, it looks a little bit like a football, does it not? Yeah. yeah it should. Okay, so now we're, if that were a football, and this we use this... Um, Comparison because on Thanksgiving Day, uh, most men are watching football games anyway. Gee, so. <laughs> can we get to carving this mother? Okay, yeah. okay. Where, the, where, the seam, where the seam of the football would be carved straight in with the knife parallel to the table, right in all the way to the uh, bone. Parallel to the table. Parallel to the table, straight in across. Okay, that's your base cut. Okay. And now cut straight down to that, and you're going to have beautiful slices. Oh, I can... Don't encourage me. <laughs> now, that's wonderful. What? You're successful. It sounds like from the applause, you did it all right. Great. Wonderful. We... So that's it? That's it. Oh, that's, that's it. it. We're finished. Was that... Yeah. Wasn't well, I guess we easy? could have a little taste, huh? You've got to yeah. have a little sandwich now or something. Yeah, take yeah. a little taste and see All right, I will. Oh, okay. Ooh. Brooke's the champion here. She picked up everything and put it on. And this I is all trim, by the way. This is really pretty. If, if you uh, if you happen to think about this, these are basil leaves, I believe, or something. Are they or sage leaves? And grapes. And these are, yes, and the grapes are champagne grapes. They're little tiny grapes. And then they have little crab apples here. And it really does look very nice. You know why it's a good idea to have it look so beautiful? We talked, the people we talked to at the Butterball Turkey Talk Line, one-third of them tell us that they take a picture of their turkey before they That's right, yes, it. we always We're do. We're all into oh, Who cares America. what it tastes like? Hey, listen, Gene, <laughs> Gene, you've been a great help. I certainly appreciate it. And by the way, if you have any questions for uh, <laughs> cooking and carving and I have the time to chat with Gene... <laughs> Just call her at the experts uh, at the Butterball Turkey Talk Line. Toll-free number, 1-800-323-4848. That's until December 23rd. Let me give it to him one more time. Or you can super, never mind. 1-800-323-4848, uh, okay? Thank you, Gene, Wonderful. very much. When we come back, we're going to talk uh, to TV's most, one of TV's most popular hunts, uh, Walt Willie, from All My Children. Thank you, Brooke. You were a champion. <laughs> and later, singer Tracy Spencer joins Chuck. Have you tried Folgers Coffee Singles? What? Coffee? In its own filter. Singular sensation. Every single cup you brew. It's like brewing a whole pot. What? One cup at a time. Singular sensation. Fresh brewed morning for you. There's ground roast in here. In its own filter. Folgers Singular Sensation. Coffee Singles, one sensational way to wake up. What should we make? 
I don't know. Use your imagination. Make the house. Make a mouse. Make me. Use the party party from me. Use a sticker. And the stencil. Stencil me. He's created fun and learning center. Is as fun as fun can be. Write a note. Build a bow. Draw me. Creative Fun and Learning Center from Mead. Where fun begins. Been shopping at the country store again, huh? Yes. Now help me put this stuff away. Sure. Hey, real country biscuits. Of course. And country crock. Well, that's what you find at a real country store. Mmm, real country taste. You're not going to help me, are you? Country crock on a country biscuit. Oh, it sounds like real country heaven. Mmm, sure tastes like it. You call this helping me? You said to put the country crock away, didn't you? <laughs> Come spread real country taste with fewer calories and no cholesterol. Shed spread country crock. It is the taste of the country. A quick reminder. Lubriderm Lotion heals your dry skin and protects it. Remember, the one created for dermatologists is the one that heals and protects. See you later, alligator. If this is a cold, this is the flu. Metaflu, maximum strength relief in a convenient caplet. For more than a cold, for the flu. Metaflu. I would make the packages about yay big. Easy to carry. No weak stuff. You know, something that's powerful. It's got to clean. Clean my shirts, my sweats, my socks. With kids, they get dirty about every minute. Just knock it out. I want my colors to be bright. I just want my colors. I hate when red turns pink. Cheer with Color Guard. A scoopful cleans a machine full. Can you see what I'm up against here? Did you know that Wesson Light Cooking Spray has less than one calorie per serving? Wesson Light, less than one calorie. Coracetin, for use at the first sign of a cold or flu. It'll relieve all your major symptoms fast. Coracetin D, the sooner the better. It seems no matter where you live, the problem exists. Innocent people, injured, killed, their lives shattered cut short by the senseless acts of a small but deadly portion of our society. Drunk drivers, people who choose to drink and drive. Don't drive drunk in Nassau County. Ask your friend to take you home. If you don't, my friend will. take this opportunity to thank Jean on the line and I hope she didn't think I was rude I was just trying to get through this as quickly as possible and you were a champion as I said before there's one thing I wanted to ask you that I didn't get to ask you before I bring out Walt and that is if you could meet anyone that you would really like to meet a man who would it be <laughs> someone said me in the audience um I it's it's so hard to say no, I, there's I, somebody I know because <laughs> I was told there was I just saw Anthony LaPaglia. Maybe that's who, who? it was. Anthony LaPaglia, he's that's a who? great actor in 29th Street. Yes. He was in Bessie's that's Wedding. That's the guy. And he's endearing. I just lied. Would you, know, you like I to meet him? Chance. Yes, I would love to. Are you kidding me? If I, I have him on the show, will you come on? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes, I would. Yes. I, this is like a great dating service. You know, I just come <laughs> well, on and what, say, It's well, one like of the little meet. things that in life that I do. Yeah. So, oh, so I'll have my staff set that up. And that's, that's all I wanted to ask. That's what I did say. I said to Jerry. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Now we're going to get to my next guest. He's one of all my children's most popular leading men. Take a look and you'll recognize it. I call this very clever journalism done by a pro whose motives are really in question. I think people are entitled to know what's going on and I have a responsibility as a journalist to tell them. Oh, come on, who are you kidding? This is not what this is about. Can't you see what this is about? This is not about the ecology or the First Amendment or, or people's right to know or any of your other high-minded constitutional principles. This is about you using your position of tempo to hurt somebody that you don't like. Please welcome Walt Willie. <laughs>